Hello my dear brothers, and my dear sisters, may God bless you all. Psalm 78 is a powerful poetic composition that tells the story of the people of Israel, their actions and reactions to the wonders and provisions of God throughout the ages. Written in language rich in symbolism, parables and riddles, Psalm 78 is intended to instruct and teach future generations about God's faithfulness and the importance of remembering and obeying His commands. In this psalm, we are invited to reflect on the human tendency to forget God's extraordinary actions in our lives, just as the people of Israel often strayed from the path of faith. It is a message that echoes through the centuries, reminding us of the need to honor and trust God, telling our children and their children the testimonies of God's handiwork. At this time, I invite all brothers and sisters to subscribe to our channel, where we will find more thoughts and teachings inspired by the Holy Scriptures, seeking to strengthen our faith and understanding of the Word of God. Together, let's delve into the timeless lessons of this psalm, seeking to apply them in our lives and become true followers of the Most High. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any flagged content to come. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. Let's pray Psalm 78 and then our Father Amen. O oh my people, listen to my teaching, incline your ear to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in parables, I will utter riddles from the past, what we heard and followed, what our fathers told us. We will not hide them from our children, we will tell the next generation of the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, of His power and the wonders He has done. He decreed statutes for Jacob, and in Israel established the law, and commanded our superiors to teach them to their children, so that the generation to come would know them, and the children who would be born would tell them to their own children. Then they in turn would put their trust in God, they would not forget His deeds, and would keep His commandments. They would not be like His anxious, stubborn, rebellious people, disloyal in heart to God, unfaithful in spirit. Ephraim's men, armed arrows, turned back on the day of battle, they did not keep God's covenant and refused to live according to His law. They forgot what He had done, the wonders He had shown them. Before His spectators He did wonders, in the land of Egypt, in the region of Zoan. He divided the sea to lead them through it, He made the waters stand up like a dam. By day He led them with a cloud, by night with a flash of fire. He split the rocks in the desert and gave them as much water as the deep sea, He made water flow out of the rock, and made the waters flow like streams. But they continued to sin against Him, rebelling in the wilderness against the Most High. Deliberately putting God to the test, experiencing what they wanted to eat. They questioned God and said, Can God prepare a table in the desert? Yes, He smote the rock, and waters gushed and torrents flooded the land, but can He also give us bread? His people. The Lord heard this and was indignant, a fire was kindled against Jacob, his anger was contracted against Israel, because they did not believe in God or trust in His saving power. Yet He commanded the clouds and opened the gates of heaven, He rained down manna for the people to eat, He gave them bread from heaven. Men ate the bread of angels, He sent them plenty of food. He sent the east wind from heaven, and by His power He drove the south wind. He made meat rain down on them like dust, flocks of birds like sand on the seashore. He dropped them in the middle of the camp, around their tents. They ate as much as they wanted, and so He satisfied their desire. But before they had satisfied their appetite, when they still had the food in their mouths, the anger of God was kindled against them, and He slew the strongest among them, slaughtering the young men of Israel. In spite of all this, they continued to sin, they did not believe in His miracles. So He ended His days in nothing, and His years in sudden terror. Whenever God slew them, they sought Him, they repented and earnestly sought after God. They remembered that God was their rock, that God Most High was their Redeemer. With their mouth they flattered Him, 
with their tongue they deceived him, their hearts were not sincere, they were not faithful to their covenant. However, he was merciful, forgave their guilt and did not destroy them. Time and again he withheld his anger, and gave no vent to his fury. He remembered that they were mere mortals, a passing breeze that never returns. How often did they rebel against him in the desert and grieve him in the arid region? Again and again God was put to the test, provoked the Holy One of Israel. They did not remember his power, the day he redeemed them from the adversary, the day his signs were performed in Egypt, and his wonders in the field of Zoan. Turned the rivers to blood, so that the Egyptians could not drink from them, envious swarms of flies that devoured them, and frogs that devastated them. He gave his produce to the larvae, his goods to the locusts. He destroyed their vines with hail and their sycamore trees with stones, he gave their cattle to the hail, their flocks to the lightning. He unleashed against them his fury, anger, indignation and hostility, a band of destroying angels. He made way for his wrath, he did not spare his afflicted ones from death, but gave them over to the plague. He slew all the firstborn in Egypt, the firstfruits of manly strength in the tents of Ham. But he brought out his people like sheep, he led them like a flock through the desert. He led them safely, and they were not afraid, to the Red Sea, he covered their faces, and there. Beloved Lord, my God and Father, at this moment, I humbly enter your sacred presence to intercede for all the sons and daughters who are part of this beloved community. Lord, I know that there are bitter, sad and afflicted hearts here, and I ask that your mighty strength and wisdom come to meet them. May your unshakable protection envelop each person subscribed to this channel, and may the enemy have no power over their lives. I especially ask for souls facing financial difficulties, deep in debt and worries. May you, O Lord, pour out your blessings upon them, removing all anguish from their hearts. Strengthen our faith, O merciful God, and may all present here find in you the hope that never fades. May this prayer be a balm to afflicted souls and a song of gratitude for your mercies. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank God. May your light shine upon us all, now and forever. Our Father, who art in heaven, blessed is your name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debts. As we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For thy kingdom and power. Honor and glory today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Amen. Glory to God. As Psalm 78 ends, we are reminded of God's goodness and mercy toward his people, despite their constant failures and unfaithfulness. The psalmist invites us to learn from past mistakes and recognize the greatness and power of the Lord in our lives. That by meditating on these words, it strengthened our faith and trust in the God who guides us and sustains us in all circumstances. May we never forget the wonders and blessings that the Lord has given us along the journey, and that we can pass on this story of love and redemption for generations to come. Thus, firm in the word and cared for by the Holy Spirit, we continue on our journey of faith, confident that the Lord is our shepherd, and we shall not want. May we honor Him with our lives, seeking to obey His commandments and glorify His name in everything we do. And now, to the brothers who have not yet subscribed to our channel, I invite you to join us on this journey of learning and communion with the Word of God. The channel will always be open to share more reflections and biblical studies, in order to build each other up in the faith. May the peace of the Lord be with us all, today and always. Amen.